The trend towards ESG investing has been notched up further by the latest initiative from the United Nations for countries and companies to start thinking in terms of natural capital, not just GDP. In other words, putting a value on a country's natural resources and including the environmental cost of the GDP that's being generated. So if a country has a GDP of, say, a billion pounds, but it destroys 300 million pounds of forestry and wildlife habitats to achieve it, then the GDP figure is really only 700 million. The idea is that this would force more innovative trade-offs rather than allowing growth at any cost, as we've pretty much had since the Industrial Revolution. In a sense, we've continually underestimated the cost of production by failing to factor in our impact on the natural world. Carbon credits have been an obvious step in this direction, but the UN wants to go a lot further. As you can imagine, it's an initiative that appeals to Sir David Attenborough, who says that by bringing economics and ecology together, we can help save the natural world at what may be the last minute and in doing so, save ourselves. The UN System of Environmental Economic Accounting, SEEA, will attempt to put a price on natural assets that are used and degraded by economic development and commerce. So there'll be a common standard to compare against. Meanwhile, in the UK, Cambridge professor Sir Partha Dasgusta is heading up a new inquiry into what needs to be done to balance development and nature. He argues that we are all asset managers and that to maintain our current level of activity would require 1.6 planet Earths. Maths was never my strong point, but that would seem to be approximately 0.6 more planet Earths than we have available. As someone once said, there is no planet B. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see some previous episodes, click here. But don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future episodes.